knocking on towards eight in the evening and there's a light breeze but a lovely perfume hanging on the breeze from uh, this year's tree lilies. Don't they look gorgeous? We've been waiting since last July for this to happen and uh, they've really come on well this year. Got to be at least two meters, two meters high. I'll have to see if I can find the name of that variety. Uh, just a few more buds to open up yet on the um, on the top, and I think um, with that uh, dark-leafed elder, that sambucus behind, it shows off the uh, the reds and the oranges of that um, of that tree lily. <laughs> the way that the wind is blowing is blowing all the perfume actually to my neighbours, but that's fine. We like our neighbours. Um, and of course we've got other lilies, there's a little white um, double there, um, Alshamiria there, and this is one of my favourites, I think that's gorgeous in the shade there. Oh, I can smell that, let's have a quick sniff. Oh. You've got to be a little bit careful when you're, you're sniffing these fellas because um, I've managed to uh, get pollen all over my hat and uh, um, a couple of t-shirts, much to my wife's displeasure. But again, that's a really strong one. Look at that shoot at the back. That's going to be like well over two meters, two meters high. And there's another kind of um, pinky purple one there behind this, um, this cottonus. But you'd be relieved to hear that I'm not just here to kind of show off uh, this magic moment in the garden. I want to kind of talk about some of the things you have to do um, to look after these uh, these lilies um, from really from the spring onwards because we, we've done other videos showing you how to pot them up, how to transplant the bulbs, how to cut them back in the um, uh, in the autumn. We've shown you all that. We haven't really looked at what you do to keep these guys going through the spring and the summer to get them to this point that we all look forward to in July when they perform like this. And um, over here, let's just walk into the sunlight there and then we can turn around. Here's the ones in the, um, in the pot. Uh, yep, so this is the big, the big pink one just starting there. This chap here is the earliest uh, flowering, got a lovely perfume. There's two, two main problems really that we face with our, with our lilies here in, uh, here in Wales. And that's when they start to shoot through the soil um, back, in, um, back in March, the shoots that just start through, because it's often wet here in, in, in March and in, in early April, it's prime time for slugs. And when those shoots are just, just coming through about that sort of size there, and they're kind of soft and fleshy, the slugs lap it up. So we have to kind of keep on top of the slug situation. Um, it's not easy. And uh, I don't like using slug pellets, but um, you can get organic ones now, which, um, which help. Um, and at least when they're growing them in pots, we can put the slug pellets there and they're well out of reach um, of, the, um, of the hedgehogs. Basically, we just try uh, and we just hope that um, we can get those shoots coming up and have a, all we need is a week or two of dry weather uh, and once the shoots are kind of more than a I don't know six inches to a foot high the slugs seem to give up um, I suspect it's because they become a lot tougher a lot firmer it's just when those shoots are just poking through the soil that you have to watch out for the slugs so we got through the slug challenge um, easy enough the next challenge then is the lovely um, red lily beetles and I say lovely because they are gorgeous to look at but they are ruthless um, well actually it's their grubs that are ruthless so we we pick off the um, the adults the um, the red adults that you see later in the spring normally kind of late April May when we start to get warm spring days those lovely days when you suddenly realize you know you can get away with a t-shirt um, that kind of 17 18 degrees centigrade um, you'll start to see them emerging and they're easy to spot um, less obvious uh, are the little grubs now the little grubs which actually do some serious damage 
uh, you will struggle to see them because actually all you see, I have to show you a photograph because um, I can't see any here at the moment, um, all you see is a kind of a black splodge, a little kind of pile of, well basically it's a little pile of poo um, on the leaf and those little grubs um, wrap themselves in their own poo. How dodgy is that? You, you, you know, any creature that's sick enough to do that must be bad news, eh? And they are bad news. Um, and um, these lilies this year, I sprayed them uh, with an insecticide to control um, the uh, lily beetle way back in uh, probably April, and that gave us a month or two of of, um, of cover. But then, unbeknown to me, um, they'd laid some more eggs and they'd hatched out, and they made some serious damage to. Um, to these leaves here and we get all kind of um, slightly deformed leaves. I did actually see um, somewhere on here, where is it, um, a variegated leaf on a lily. Um, I think I've got a photograph of it somewhere on this one. Oh. And um, you know that normally happens when a virus has got into the plant. And, uh, yeah, the virus can cause a variegation. It can look quite lovely, um, but it means that there's, you know, a sickness, a virus in the plant, which is not good. Um, so you need to be on top of the control for the red lily beetle. And at the moment, unfortunately, um, apart from picking off the adults and then um, disposing of them, um, you know, the never option probably is to spray with an insecticide, which we hate doing. Um, but I, th I suppose you have to be vigilant. Just keep an eye, look out for the adults, look out for the, um, the grubs that are wrapped in their, um, their, their own poop um, and dispose of them. If you can overcome those two problems, keep, them, keep the lilies fed uh, with you know, my favourite kind of high potash, ideally slow release fertiliser, you too can enjoy magic moments through the summer with your with your lilies any questions you know you know the form we love to hear from you um, any questions comments suggestions um, do let us know and um, thank you thank you for watching I'm gonna part now with a closing picture of a Welsh sunset well not quite setting yet but we do get the Sun here occasionally in Wales Thank you.